हेलो आई एम जगत योर हैप्पीनेस टीचर आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर विथ यू अ हैप्पीनेस एक्सरसाइज कॉल्ड द ग्रैटिट्यूड विजिट इट विल इंक्रीज योर लेवल ऑफ जॉय हैप्पीनेस एंड लाइफ सेटिस्फैक्शन do you know on what factors our happiness depends almost half of our happiness according to positive psychology depends on our genes 10% depends on the circumstances of life and the remaining 40% depends on our voluntary activities the intentional activities that we do how we think what we do in life the gratitude visit is one of such voluntary activities do you know what are the keys to happiness the first key is positive emotion more positive emotion means more happiness in life engagement more en- engagement more happiness relationships richer and deeper the relationships are you will be happier meaning if you connect to something higher and larger than life you will feel more content and accomplishment accomplishment gives you happiness we'll be looking at each of these keys and elements one by one in our talks today our focus is on positive emotion positive emotion could be about the past present or future positive emotions about the future include hope optimism faith trust those about the present include cheerfulness joy zest ebullience pleasures of life and flow usually people uh, very narrowly they when they talk of happiness they think of these things happiness about the past is satisfaction pride serenity fulfillment contentment one will be in the higher reaches of life if he is satisfied with the past happy in the present and optimistic about the future but these three things do not necessarily go together one may feel pride and a lot of satisfaction about his past yet be sour in the present and be doubtful of his future or one could be bitter about his past though he has all the pleasures in the present and he may be pessimistic about the future so here is an exercise the gratitude visit which will increase your level of positive emotions and take you to a higher level of happiness and it will reduce your depression so let us see how we go about this exercise this exercise was developed by dr martin seligman along with his students 
in the University of Pennsylvania. Close your eyes. Think of an important person who did or said something to you that made your life better and whom you could not thank in a proper way. Got the picture? Now write a small testimonial for that person. Just one small page. Take your own time. Compose it in a beautiful manner. Let it sing. Once you have completed it, get it laminated. Call that person and tell him or her that you would like to meet that person. You need not tell the reason of your visit. I just want to meet you is enough because this exercise is more fun and more effective if you do it this way. Go to that person with some flowers and fruits or whatever your culture says, maybe some chocolates, cheese and wine. But most important is that laminated sheet of paper. When things settle down, slowly read what you have written for that person with expression and eye contact. Let the person respond. Then in a leisurely manner, talk about the past, how that person helped you, how you felt inspired and let that person also share her feelings about you. This is an exercise where you express gratitude in a thoughtful and purposeful manner. Just saying a hurried thank you doesn't help. And gratitude is a meta strategy for happiness. It helps you in many ways. If you have the feeling of gratefulness, all the feelings of bitterness about the past, the pain, jealousy, anger, they vanish. If there is gratitude, a positive feeling, if there is light, there can be no darkness. Gratitude builds new relationships, nurtures those relationships and deepens and broaders the existing relationships whether you express gratitude or not if you have gratitude in your mind you will have much richer relationships the benefits of gratitude are many without listing them i would like to conclude with a small sentence Cultivate an attitude of gratitude to be happier in life. Be happy and stay blessed.